You don't get to swing at me like that. You know the ACLU says the video was taken by school personnel at an elementary school in Covington, Kentucky, outside Cincinnati. Kenton County, Kentucky Sheriff's Deputy Kevin Sumner can be seen handcuffing a boy's arms behind him above his elbows. The suit filed Monday says he was an eight-year-old third grader diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and attention deficit hyperactive disorder. According to the lawsuit, he was sent to the vice principal's office last November after having disability-related difficulties obeying his teacher. You can do what we've asked you to, or you can yeah, suffer the consequences. God. The suit quotes the deputy saying the boy had swung his arm and attempted to strike him with his elbow. We don't think handcuffs at the biceps are the way to treat an eight-year-old child, even if the child is emotionally distraught. The lawsuit alleges that Sumner also handcuffed a nine-year-old girl with ADHD at another school after she didn't obey a teacher. Children with disabilities should not be handcuffed, um, especially when the, their behavior is related to their disability. The sheriff's office declined to comment because the litigation is pending. Sumner didn't respond to telephone messages. Civil rights advocates question why police are dealing with young students, even those without disabilities. Instead of treating things like garden variety discipline, they treat them like law enforcement problems. And it leads to the kind of inappropriate response that we saw here. The Covington School District, which is not named in the suit, declined to comment on these incidents as a federal court is now being asked whether it violated his constitutional rights. For today, John Yang, NBC News, Chicago.